you know what I say, there's a D factor, there's a diasporan factor, which is a key that unlocks the treasures of Africa. Well, Ghana is your first step, and Ghana should be your first visit. And I encourage people to come first. To come. Still pushing, cause we go make up. Still pushing, cause we will get there. So, mommy, my name is Ni. I'm so glad to be here. Someone might be asking, is it necessary? Why is it so important for us to celebrate um, Wakanda here in Ghana? It's very important for us to celebrate Wakanda in Africa. And this is the one we're doing for Africa. It's not just for Ghana, but it's for Africa. Ghana, of course, has been the first and the real Pan-African country in Africa. Uh, our embassy is the first diplomatic mission of its own, dealing with diaspora issues. So when things like this, when we have an icon that dies anywhere in the world, an African American or one of the diaspora, we celebrate them. You know, we mourn with them and we celebrate with them. So it's very important that we do it here because we are the world. We are the world. <laughs> okay, please, mommy. My last, uh, your, my last question to you. Um, a lot of people watching me are from the diaspora. What is your final message to them about um, diaspora coming home to Africa? Well, Ghana is your first step, and Ghana should be your first visit. And I encourage people to come first, to come and feel it and see if it's for them, you see. And once you come to Africa, you, you won't be the same. You know, there's a spirit here of connection to your roots that changes you. So my saying to them is to come and see if this is your home. And we welcome you. Aquaba. Thank you so much. Um, once again, I have the beautiful Ivy Prosper on my channel. We just want to thank you for the other time. The video that we did, you guys did so well. We love the comments. You have seen it. And today we are here. And Ivy, yes. what, 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 what will you say about this whole event? I think it's wonderful that they honor Chadwick Boseman because he did make an impact with the roles he played for black people around the world. Okay, So someone might be asking, why Ghana celebrating him? Well, Ghana is part of Africa. And a lot of times in the movie industry, uh, in American movie industry especially, they look at black people, black characters, African themes as being something that can't be internationally successful. So a lot of times they avoid doing films, TV programs that would be centered on Africa or black characters. And what this movie did was prove that people want stories about Africa. People want to see fantasy. People want to see adventure. People want to see, you know, superheroes from Africa. So this movie broke boundaries and it proved that it's possible. So Ghana being a part of Africa should celebrate this because it means that people around the world are interested in seeing stories about Africa. Yeah. So your final words to people watching us? Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. And keep on telling stories from Africa because we cannot allow anyone else to tell our stories but ourselves. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Okay, so um, guys, thank you so much for watching and I have here with me my lovely Queen Mother. Um, hey, so mommy, please, can you kindly uh, introduce yourself to my people? Most of them watching haven't seen you or most of them don't know you. Okay. So I'm Princess Asi Kabuki Okansi. I'm a board member of the Diaspora African Forum and a founder for, co-founder of the Necotech Center of Excellence with the late Mr. Isaac Hayes, who came to Ghana and we made him a chief here in Ghana. Yeah. Mommy, please, I have a lot of people watching me from the Diaspora. What is your final message to them? You know, I was, I had brought the late Isaac Hayes to Ghana and we made him a king. And it is amazing to be standing here to memorialize a king okay. of Wakanda. We re recently made two kings, Nene Akofi Kubio Kansi okay. uh, and then Nene Kabute Kubio Kansi from a royal return. He's made a royal return home today, Chadwick Aaron Bosman. But he stood for excellence. He stood for oneness. He stood for unity. He even said, even in the fight with the um, Killmonger, it was about the same side, two sides of the same coin, and that we can differ in our, in, in our ways of doing things, but we should always remember that we're one from the same womb of the same mother Africa. And so what I want to say that from today, when you see each other do the Wakanda forever, you can elbow on top of it. 
for us in Ghana. And we want to, that should mean hail black excellence, a new era of black people on purpose. We have to be intentional about our excellence, that anything less than that is not good enough. Whatever you saw in Wakanda, let's take it from the screens and bring it into reality. Okay, we've joined a movement where we are asking all the blacks in the diaspora to come home. What is your take on that? It's about time. You know what I say, there's a D factor, there's a diaspora factor, which is a key that unlocks the treasures of Africa. We need all the, God did not send our brothers and sisters overseas for nothing. There's a Joseph phenomenon there. God sent them to get the skills, the culture, so many things, the, the knowledge that, that they can bring to unlock what is in our ground. Whatever is in our ground belongs to both of us and it's time for them to come home. There's a lot of wealth, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of appreciation. There's a lot of celebration of who they are. Here they can walk around while being black with, with all the dignity that they want. That is where they belong. And so it's time for them. Now, if you can't come and stay, you can come and visit. If you even can't come and visit, come virtually. Come physically, come virtually, come mentally, come, whatever it is, come back one way or another. It's time to connect with the motherland. Thank you. It's time to connect with the motherland. Let's make it so. Because if they could take mobile phones and make them what they are today, we can take Wakanda and speak it into reality. They said, let there be light in the water. Let there be Wakanda and there shall be Wakanda. God bless you all. all right, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Wakanda forever. Wakanda <laughs> forever. And Kwame Kuma says, forever. Forever. So let's have the Wakanda and the Kwame Kuma forever. forever. Bless you. Right. And you're doing a great job. Wakanda. Keep it up. This is the best man. Subscribe to his channel and bring all your friends to his channel. God bless. Thank Wakanda. you. Wakanda. Wakanda forever. 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 I just think we just need to say a little prayer. Yeah. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. As we have stated and each speaker has stated so eloquently, we come here today to lift up the name of our beloved brother. He's been lifted up already by the grace of the Most High God. He's been lifted up already by the spirit of our ancestors. So we want to confirm that as we unveil his name here by lending our spirit to the momentum that has already been set. We thank the creator for having lent him to us for the period that he was amongst us. We thank the creator for having blessed him and embodied him with a spirit that brought back many of our heroes and the persons of James Brown and the person of Jackie Robinson and the person of Thurgood Marshall. And then he lifted them up higher and gave us an image of what Africa could be and should be in King T'Challa. We give thanks for that vision that has been brought forth in his person. And today we honor our ancestors in honoring him. So may our spirits collectively, collectively send our spirits with him to lift them up on high as we lift this curtain and this cloth up. As the minister and our ambassador lift this cloth up, let our spirits lift him up and may his name resonate throughout the ether. Chadwick Aaron Bosley. Let's repeat it. Chadwick Aaron Bosley. Wakanda. Wakanda. And welcome home. And welcome home. Thank you so much for coming. And those who would like to take pictures on the wall, feel free to do that. Um, any of the press who would like to ask some questions, we'll take a few questions, and then this is the end of the program. Any press questions? Thank you all for coming. We want to leave you with one verse, which is a favorite verse of Chadman. Chadwick. It says, I alone know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, and plans to give you a future and a hope. He leaves us with a word that we should go for our purpose, not for a job or a career. As you go out here, take that message out, that we must all be purposeful in all that we do concerning our people as black people all over the world. Thank you very much. I want you to put your hands together for Ambassador Dr. Erica Bennett. Every time she does this thing, she cares for everybody else, and then she goes away. I want us to honor our ambassador for the good work she continues to do in the diaspora, from the African Union, and in this country. We are blessed to have her, and she's a gift unto us. So everybody, please give her a Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Okay, so.
don't press. Is there anything for the minister before we go? I'm still pushing, I'm still pushing, no, I'm still